Hey, how's it going? Welcome back to another episode of the Duo Group Iron Man. In the last video, I did over 50 TOAs, still trying to get Missouri, and unfortunately, I did not get a single purple. But I did get a pet last video because I left to go do another boss, and this is what I got. I got the Venonatus Spiderling from Spindle. That makes it pet number 16 on the account and the second spider pet on the account because I have the Seractus pet right over here. As of the time of me recording this in real time, Leagues 4 is starting in less than a day. I know by the time this video goes up, it will have already ended. So hopefully I had a fun time playing Leagues 4. But yeah, it's starting pretty soon. I'm going to be playing the League on my main and I'll be AFKing on this account. And at least for the start, I'm going to start off by doing Redwoods. And it'd be nice to get the Beaver pet. I'm currently 22.6 mil woodcutting XP. When Forestry Part 2 was added, they added two new transmogs for the beaver pet, the pheasant and the fox. And these are like now some of my favorite pet options in the game. So I really, really want to get the beaver. And here's the drop rate for the beaver. Uh, this is the base drop rate. So with 99 woodcutting, we'll say it's about 70k redwood logs to meet the drop rate. So we'll say 70,000 redwood logs times you get 380 XP each, which means the drop rate is about 26.6 million XP. However, I'd like to use the dragon felling axe, which gives you 10% more woodcutting XP. So if I am able to upkeep it for the entirety of playing during the league, then that would actually be about 29.2 mil XP to meet the drop rate for Beaver. Wait, don't want to forget about the Lumberjack outfit. So if we add on the 2.5% bonus from that, then it's actually, okay, it's basically 30 mil woodcutting XP. You do have to upkeep the felling axe though, because every time you chop a log with it, then you use up one ration. So I'm going to start off this video by making a bunch of rations. Here's what I got in my forestry kit. I have 22K rations, which is a lot, but at the same time, because of how long I'm going to be AFKing, um, let's say, I don't know how many redwoods you chop per hour, I probably should know since I have 200 mil wood cutting on my main, but let's just say it's 180 redwoods per hour, I think that's probably about right. So if you take the 22k rations divided by 180 logs per hour, that's about 120 hours. Wait, crystal impling, hold on. Okay. You make rations by combining leaves that you get from forestry along with fish. The better the leaf and the better the fish, the more rations you're going to get each. I basically have unlimited sharks at this point. That's the three times multiplier, so I'm set for fish. It's really just the leaves that are going to be the bottleneck. I have over 7,000 sharks along with a bunch of minnows. And then on top of that, I have even a bunch more uncooked sharks. So we're going to start off by using these on there. And you'll see I get 36 for each one I combine together. And then you get a bit of cooking XP too, 51 cooking XP each. Oh yeah, the reason why I came to Prif is because I want to do this in the forestry world. Since when I see events, I can just run over and do them. I do have the collection log done for... Oh, look who's here. Yeah, I have the forestry collection log done except for the fox whistle. So if I see a fox event, I will go and do it. Oh, look at, look at the pheasant and fox just mocking me. I would highly recommend Entity Hider for this, so that way there's not all these people over here and I'll be able to see the events easier. And the magic leaves have been used up, got about 9.4k from those. So next, I'm going to move on to the U leaves. Take all those out, and you still get 51 XP each. I think it is, yeah. And now instead of getting 36 each, I'm just going to be getting 30 each per shark. This is actually going to make a lot of rations, so maybe I'll just use up the U leaves and then go to Redwoods. And also with NC Hider, just make sure you don't have hide NPCs on, otherwise you won't be able to click on the stuff. And the U leaves have been used up, and holy crap, that is a lot of rations. So today I ended up using like 2,700 sharks, but now it is over 100k. Beautiful white stack, and uh, we could do a price check of that. That is 2 mil worth. If we're going by 180 redwood logs chopped per hour, then this will last for 572 hours. I probably won't spend that much time online during the league on this account. Well... Probably not. You can tell how long it took me to make those rations based on my cooking XP. It was about two hours. And now I'm going to my home for the next up to two months. I don't know if I'll be there the whole time during the league. I might even end up playing the league on this account for a little bit depending on how things are going. Or I might hop over to something like Infernal Eels or Sacred Eels. But 
I'll see, uh, yeah, if I get the beaver, that might change my plans a bit, but we'll see, we'll see. I talked about in a previous video using the Infernal Axe versus the Felling Axe, and I determined that the Felling Axe is better to use overall in terms of like efficient time on an account because of Winter Toad existing. Fire making is such a fast skill that the fire making XP you get from the Infernal Axe while chopping Redwoods is pretty negligible. The thing with the Felling Axe though is that there's a 20% chance you don't get the log. It does still use up the ration every time you chop a log though, whether or not you actually get the log. So with the Felling Axe, there's a one-fifth chance you don't get the log, but with the Infernal Axe, there's a one-third chance you don't get the log. So you're, there's kind of like an invisible upside to using the infernal axe if you're trying to afk is that you'd be more likely to not get a log but if you're using the felling axe you could just drop the logs if you really didn't want to bank but with how afk redwoods are already i would say that the felling axe is the winner either way when they added forestry they changed trees so that there's just a static countdown timer before they despawn not just randomly when you chop a log and for redwoods that's 440 game ticks which is four minutes and 24 seconds which is just like a ridiculous amount of time for guaranteed afk time and you can see I have this timer on here. That is the tree despawn timer plugin. And you could have it as ticks or the pie if you like this kind of pie format. I prefer the ticks though, I like having the number there. And an important thing to mention regarding forestry is that forestry is disabled within the woodcutting guild. So you're not gonna get any forestry events, you don't get any leaves, you don't get like the boost from multiple people chopping on the same vein like you do with, or the same tree like you do with forestry. But the woodcutting guild has its invisible plus seven woodcutting boost, so there's that. Either way, I'm just chopping redwoods AFK, so it <laughs> doesn't really matter. I wanna show a little trick for banking. First off, I use the deposit box, I don't use the bank chest, and then when I use it, I have it set to all deposit all, so I left click deposit all. And then for the forestry basket, I have the left click. You, if you shift right click, you can set the left click to be what you want it to be. I have it set to use, and use is basically the deposit option. Wait a second, before I get too deep into this, I almost forgot, I, I might have shown it before, but I forgot to point it out at least. I guess I'll be starting with about 11.5K Redwood Log. So when everything is said and done, we'll see uh, where this 11.5K stat gets to. Hey, it's only the first day of leagues. I've already got a virtual woodcutting level on this account, 105. Just want to show after day one of the league of AFKing on this account, uh, I wasn't even logged in for the first like six hours. I was playing for probably 19 hours today. And this is, I, I still managed to average over 70k woodcutting XP per hour. I feel like it's pretty good over the course of a whole day. Ooh, a virtual woodcutting level 106. Yo, a virtual woodcutting level of 107. Guys, they've changed forestry, aka forestry part three. We're going to remove all forestry event items from the game, which means that you'll only need the forestry kit and axe to participate in the events. Any event items you had when the update launches will be converted to GP. Is that the same for Iron Man too? If I'm reading this right, it sounds like you can't just be bank standing to be able to do the events. Well, you can do them, but you get way less XP and you can't obtain uniques or bark. So it sounds like you can't do the collection log anymore by just bank standing. Dang, you actually have to woodcut now to do the forestry collection log. That's crazy. Twitcher's gloves now don't have charges. It's just a single item that works forever. However, this update to remove the forestry event items from the game has not entered the game yet. Yo, it's 30 million woodcutting XP on the woodcutting alt. Virtual woodcutting level 108. <gasps> the beaver! The beaver! Yo! 34 million XP, holy, we're uh, 11 days into league, 10 or 10 days, 10 or 11 days into the league, and I'm at 11 million woodcutting XP gained in this video. Oh, it happened. <laughs> I, I really didn't think I'd actually get the beaver during the league. I didn't have a plan for after this, so, hmm. The date today is November 25th, just for reference. Um, <laughs> what do I do? I didn't think I'd get this far. Uh, well, I know I want to transmog it. I got that pheasant egg in the bank, so that'll free up a bank slot at least. And we'll use that on the beaver. Yo, that's so cool, the little pheasant. Can you change the number of tails or is it always... Maybe it's always one tail. Such a cool pet, I love that. What if you talk to it? What does it say? I can't believe people tried to eat us. What would you taste like, chicken? I taste Val. I guess I'll just go back to woodcutting because I want to have a video that's like, I spent a long time doing woodcutting. I guess arguably it's already kind of been a while because 11 million XP, that's like almost going from 1 to 99. Actually, I do want to take a look though. How many redwood logs did I have? I'm at 32k. 
I think it's enough for birdhouse friends. And then let me see how many pets I have. I think it's pet number 17, I want to say. Yes, pet number 17. Same day I get the beaver pet on the league on my main. I, I just got the sire pet. Yep, I'm still here. Just got 109 virtual woodcutting level. I genuinely did not think there could ever possibly be anything interesting to show as I'm chopping redwoods, but when, you know what? There is something. <laughs> Dude just randomly logged in and said that, and 15 minutes later I have replied and I will say nothing else. Oh, it's been a while later, quite a few hours later. I'm not sure if you cared or wanted any finality on the topic, but those were uh, the only messages, and they were each like 10 minutes apart. <laughs> Whoa, 110 woodcutting. Hello again, I've reached 40 million woodcutting XP. Okay, bye. We're a couple weeks into the league, and I just want to upkeep my kingdom, put a little bit more money in. Uh, let's see. Added about two mil. And Spookdog was just upkeeping her kingdom, but she ran out of money. She only had like a mil left. So I'm going to put three mil on her so she could put that into her kingdom and get some more herbs that way. I caught it in time. 111 woodcutting level. And I also just reached 20 million woodcutting XP gained in this video. I have occasionally been doing my birdhouse runs and I just hit 30 million hunter XP. I did not see that coming out. I saw the message. I was like, whoa, wait, did, did they add pets to birdhouse runs finally? Have I not been reading the game updates? for that long. It's so weird doing a birdhouse run on here because on the league I'm hunting herbivore and I'm like in the same spot on both accounts so I'm, I'm like getting confused where I am on each account. <laughs> just got, you can see in the chat box, 112 wood cutting. No way, I just had to show you. Look at this insane name. <laughs> He's yelling burrito. Me at Del Taco. Man, these always sneak up on me. 50 million wood cutting XP. Also, I might be uh, hopping into the league very soon on this account within the next couple days. Well, it's finally time. I figured it would happen eventually. I'm going to be hopping over to the league on this account because I'd like to as many rewards as possible. It has been 26 days since the league has started and I've gained 28 mil woodcutting XP. I've averaged over a million woodcutting XP per day and I probably won't be logging into the main game for the next four weeks. This is a league clip as I'm sure you can tell but I just got the Missouri body and it hurts man because you know I've been grinding this out for so long trying to get it in the main game. I know purples are extremely common if not even guaranteed in the league but this was my fifth purple, so to roll it so early on in the league for the item I've been grinding out for a while in the main game kind of hurts, man. Hello again. For you, pretty much no time has passed. For me, it's been like a month since I've played the main game on this account. But you can see my points at the bottom here. 56k is dragon rank. So I just got to dragon rank today or last night. And there's still two days left in the league. But I've pretty much gotten all the points I'm going to get at this point. And now I have the next day and a half to do some stuff in the main game. Because I'll go back in the league for the final hour to get some clips for my last league's video. But for the most part, I'm I'm back. And I'm going to get myself reacclimated to the main game and do some chill activities while I edit a lot of footage both for the league and get caught up on group Iron Man clips. Very important thing to do first though, my first birdhouse run on this account in the main game in a month. My first activity back has been killing ghouls going for the champion scroll. And this one right here is number 15,000. I've killed a couple hundred ghouls today so far. It's really cool that the loot tracker knows to separate your loot from the league versus your loot from the main server. So I'm really glad it restored everything properly and that it's not adding things together from the league. But yeah, I'm now three times the drop rate for the champion scroll. The first champion scroll I've ever decided to actively go for on this account. From this last birdhouse, I got two of the same color egg nest from one birdhouse. Felt the need to share that. Oh man, a month with no upkeep. Let's see what the approval's at. 45. Still got a lot of GP in the coffers, but I'll top it up. 2.3 mil added in. There's so many things to get used to again, like my attack speed, how small the XP drops are, the fact that I can't note my items wherever I'm at in the game. I don't have unlimited run anymore. Most things in the main game are harder than the league, but there are some benefits. Like for example, I don't have to use the rake anymore because I couldn't get auto weed in the league. So I have to get used to not grabbing the rake out of the storage. And also the biggest, nicest thing is that these drops are permanent and they mean a lot more in the main game than they do in the league. I have to get used to like the items that I have because I'm so used to my bank layout out and the items that I got in the league I forgot what I have and don't have in the main game. That is crazy that after so long, Runelight remembers what my farming contract was still. Ah yes, first night back on the main game and I'm not slowing down. 
my in-game hours at least. I really should clear out some bank space. I just did five clues and that's the reason why I have five open bank slots. So I probably should try to fix that. Oh, this thing, the funky shaped log, that's for the beaver pet. I spent 15K anima infused bark as well as 500 of every type of log a while ago. Uh, let me change this to the beaver, use it on there. Yes, and now I can use logs on the beaver to transform it into a different type. Um, I'll just toss redwood logs just to see what it looks like. Cool. And then if I try to switch it to the pheasant and then back to the beaver, does it keep it? Oh, no, it lost it. I mean, it still has the ability to transform with a funky shaped log, but uh, I'm gonna keep it as the pheasant anyways. Costume room highlighter helps clean your bank by highlighting everything that can be stored safely in the POH. Sounds good to me. As I scroll through the bank, you could see the items that are highlighted, some stuff in here. Um, there's not really much that I wasn't aware of already though, but it'll help a little bit maybe. Every time I clean the bank, I always feel like I need to mention the wise old man, otherwise the comments will be filled with it. All these items I am keeping and I have kept every time I've showed this interface because a lot of them are unreobtainable items that I don't want to get rid of because they're cool. I have this Zurichian fabric in the bank probably from the first time I went to go kill Lizardmen. And I, I guess I was saving it because I wanted to make a full Zerishian outfit. So I can make the top, which uses five. I'm gonna get I'm gonna go kill some Lizardmen and get some more Zerishian so I can have the full set in the POH. And I got the last fabric I need. So we'll make one of the bottoms and then one of the hats. And there is the full Zerishian set. All I need is a water staff and I'll be ready to own noobs in the wildy. Interesting, the Zerishian outfit does not go in the magic wardrobe. You would think the, the wizard robes would go in there, but it goes in I had, <laughs> I had a set already, what am I doing, man? I don't know when I made that first set, but I can almost guarantee I made that exact same comment about how it doesn't go in the magic wardrobe. There's this master stash unit that I've never had to use before, but you could store a crystal bow or a bofa in there. I have the bofa already, which means I don't think I'll ever use the crystal bow. So that is cleared out of the bank. I'm sorry, I have to do it. Goodbye fish. I had an extra gold leaf and only one of these in my bank. So I figured, yep, I don't have this stash unit built. So that freed up a couple bank slots for me. I'm very happy and proud of what I've done. My bank is now the emptiest it's ever been in the last two months. I kind of want to chill for the rest of the day, pun intended. And I'm kind of in the mood to do some winter tote. I'm going to be opening the crates after every game because I can't really store that many in my bank. So if I get anything cool, you will know right away. That last one was 700 KC. <gasps> no way! <laughs> oh my gosh. I was like, wait, why did I only get one drop from that? And then I, I heard like a weird sound. I never heard the sound of getting a pet before. Oh my gosh. Let's take a look at, uh... I was just looking at the collection log too. It's green logged. Wow. The Phoenix is one out of 5K per roll and you get at least two rolls per crate. If you go by two rolls, it's one in 2,500. If you go by 2.5 rolls on average, that'd be one in 2K. But either way, no matter how you look at it, I got lucky on this pet at 707KC. Man, that's two pets in one video. Oh, uh, finally reunited on this account with my Buffalo chicken sandwich. On previous accounts, I named her LeBron. So we'll keep the tradition going. Put her in the bank. And that is pet number 18. Yeah, I guess you could say I'm pretty glad I decided to go do fire making today. I, I've been here for not even an hour. I've gained not even 300k fire making XP. It was the last thing I was expecting. That's how you get pets though. It's only when you don't expect them. Isn't that right, Spook Dog? No one said anything in the public chat, by the way, about me getting the pet. It was, it's was it been dead silent except for an advertising bot. The day's not over yet. I still need to kill some time for the rest of the day. I'm gonna do some GOTR. I turn on the public chat for one second because I'm like, oh, I left Winter Toad, that must be fine, but it's going back off. The league ends in a couple hours and I'm not sure if the Christmas event is gonna end at the same time with this update. So we're doing the Christmas event right now, just to be safe. There could be another week left, but uh, let's grab the Trailblazer Reloaded Dragon Trophy. And there's Spook Dog. I'm sure she's going to grab hers because spoilers, or maybe not spoilers, she got it too. Yo, the Duo GIM Dragon D's Cup. Oh, new music track. Now I have all the music tracks again. This is my favorite part. 
Oops. Why are you hitting me? <laughs> and the event is complete. What is this? So the league is over. I got my Dragon Cup, and I was looking here. I got a uh, I got Iron Cup from Shattered Relics. I don't even remember logging into that one. But yeah, look at me. Got Dragon Cup on two accounts. Whoa! When you take the pheasant out of the bank, it leaves the placeholder as the beaver. In this video, I gained over 28 million woodcutting XP, and if I'm going by 65k XP per hour, which I think is pretty reasonable, that would be 434 hours of woodcutting. I technically chopped about 66k redwood logs in this video, but because the felling axe removes 20%, I only received about 52 to 53k redwood logs. Only 52k. Uh, if we do a price check here, over 40 mil worth of redwoods. I think I'm good for birdhouses. I started this video off over two months ago with a playtime of 362 days and 8 hours. That means my in-game time just throughout this video was 19 days and 5 hours, which is equivalent to 461 hours in this one single video. On for runecrafting, I think I spent like 6 hours training RC at GOTR. I didn't collect any of the searches though. I think I have like 80 to 90 searches, but there's my runecraft XP gained if you're curious. I think I reset the hunter XP too, so I'm kind of curious how much hunter XP I gained from doing sporadic birdhouse runs. 300k. One more thing I want to show on the unofficial group Iron Man high scores on Temple OSRS. If we switch it over to woodcutting and then go by individual players for duo group Iron Man, as an individual player, I am rank 3 for woodcutting. As a team, uh, because Spookdog's not 99 woodcutting yet, or not even on the front page, but if she were to get 99 woodcutting, which she's actually actively working on because she's doing forestry as she's editing her uh, League's videos, um, if she had 99, we would be ranked 2 as a duo GIM team. Okay, maybe one more final thing that I think is worth showing because we're coming back to Group Iron Man after essentially not playing for two months or not making any progress on the high scores at least because Spoodog was playing her GIM in the league as well. We're at rank 25 for duo GIMs. I thought we would fall a lot more, but now we're still holding pretty strong. I think we were like rank 22 to 24-ish, so we only fell like a few ranks at most throughout the last two months of not playing. But yeah, for the next video, I am very excited to get back into grinding out TOA for Missouri to go with the Tebow, with only a hint of sarcasm. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed, and I hope that you have a great day, and I will see you again next time.